Hello everyone, welcome back to class. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to solve quadratic inequalities. Our objectives are to solve a quadratic inequality using the quadratic graph or to solve quadratic inequalities using algebra. Those are our objectives. Now, what if we have a quadratic graph and we are asked for what values, for what range of values is x squared minus 4x is less than or equal to zero? To be less than or equal to zero means to be negative. That's important. And when we understand that it means to be negative, then we know that we should look at our graph and see where on this graph are we getting negative y values from the x values. So which x values? This is the x-axis and this is where we find our x values. Which x, value, x values are giving us negative y values on the graph? So if you notice, starting here, between these two points, that when x is 1, we get a negative 3. When x is 2, we get a negative 4, when, um, etc. So these x numbers are giving us negative numbers, negative y numbers on the graph. So um, our solution is going to lie between these two numbers, 0 and 4. All the numbers between 0 and 4 here are giving us negative numbers on the graph. So we can write down our solution as x is between, <clears throat> or all x between, all x between, um, let's write that, between 0 and 4. And to write that mathematically, we can write, zero being less than or equal to x and x being less than or equal to four and this answers our question properly as to what range of values is x squared minus 4x less than or equal to zero so this is our solution looking at the graph the other way the values of x for which x squared minus 4x is greater than zero then it means that to be greater than zero means to be positive. That means we need to look at the x-axis now and see what x numbers are giving us positive numbers on the graph. Now, starting here, we realize that all these x numbers go in this direction are giving us some positive numbers on the graph. So when x is negative 1, here we are getting a positive 5. When x is negative 1.5, we are getting um, something a little bit above 8 there. When x is um, positive 5 here, we are getting um, positive 5 there. So all x numbers starting here, 0, going down, and starting here at 4, going this direction, are giving us positive numbers, and that's what we want. So we can write down our solution as x being less than 0, all the numbers starting here go in that direction, and x being greater than 4. And this is the total of our answer. Our solution set comprises these two because the answer lies on both ends. So here going down and from here going up. Now, when we have a quadratic inequality and we're asked to solve it, we can use algebra to solve this one, either by using the formula first to solve it, or using factorization or any other method that you want to use. So having this first, we're going to solve it. This one um, can be factorized. We can write it down as x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Let's factorize. Let's um, expand it first. Minus 3x plus 2x minus um, 6. And this factorizes to give us x minus 3 um, plus 2 into x minus 3 and that gives us that x plus 2 and x minus 3 um, is equal to 0 and that now tells us that x is negative 2 and x is also positive 3. Now these two numbers become very important so we're going to use them to draw a number line and that number line we're going to use to test to see where our answer is. So we're putting our two numbers on the number line. 
don't need a very fancy number line to do it. A simple one with these three numbers, zero and the two solutions that you found. And now we need to test this, this quadratic inequality to see where the answer is. Now, the answer is either going to be between these two numbers, that is between um, negative two and three, or the answer is going to be outside of these two numbers. It's one or the other when you're doing a quadratic. Either the answer will lie between the two numbers that you found, or the answer will lie outside of the two numbers that you found. So let's test it. x squared minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And the easiest number to test with is 0. If you do absolutely no work there, so choose 0, drop it in. If you use 0, then 0 squared minus 0 minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And that tells you straight that negative 6 is less than 0. This is a, this is a true statement. Negative 6 is indeed less than 0. So this is true. And because it is true, and because the 0 is between the negative 2 and the 3, we know that our solution lies between here and here. So we can write down our solution set as... Um, Negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. And this here is our solution. So since we don't need this one anymore, we can just remove that to show the complete solution there that all of our answers lie between negative 2 and 3. And it is important to always test it first so, so you can know um, where your answer is. When you solve a quadratic equation, what you get is what you get. This is what the answers would be if this was just a quadratic equation. But because it's an inequality, we have to put it on a number line and we have to test it to see where the answers are. Let's look at another one. <clears throat> now we have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Again, we're going to solve it. You could use the formula. I'm going to factor this one because it can be factored as well. So 2x squared minus 9x um, minus 5 um, gives me 2x squared minus 10x plus x minus 5 and factoring out gives me um, this. So I end up with 2x plus 1 and x minus 5 equals 0 and that tells me now that x is equal to negative a half and x is equal to positive 5. And these would be your solutions to the quadratic equation, which we are going to use to set up our number line. So here's our number line. And now to know where our answer is, we need to test it. So we are going to test it to see if our answer is between here and here, or if our answer is outside of this region. So, let's write it down. 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is greater than 0. The, the 0 lies between negative a half and 5. So, if we test it with 0 and it's true, then our answer would be between here and here. If we test it and our answer is false, it means that our answer lies on the outside. And so, let's put 0 in there. So, we have 0. 2 times 0 square minus 9 times 0 minus 5, which tells us that negative 5 is greater than 0. This is false. So our answer does not lie between these two. That means then that our answer lies on the outside of them. And so our solution set is going to be x is less than negative a half and x is greater than 5. This is how we solve quadratic inequalities using the graph and using algebra. Thank you for watching.